Um, Dryden McKay, I mean, he comes up big for you, with, you know, late in the game, a few saves early, uh, you know, in second period, I think one off his mask, uh, um, gets that record shutout. You know, what did you think of his play and all tonight? He earned it. You know, um, even in a couple late, the one that squirted out from behind the goal line, he was in great position. It was a bang bang play where it came out and went right back at him. And he was in a good spot. You know, I thought he mishandled that one. Uh, and then from that point on, you know, he's the one that transitioned us out of the zone to score the goal because he put some mustard on that wrap and got a buy uh, so our, our wing could get out and get a chip. And I'm happy for him. He's he's uh, carried a lot of the load, and he's been very good for us. Kind of nice on a Saturday night to be, be in the team that has to – uh, defend an extra attacker for a couple minutes as opposed to be the one that's <laughs> yeah. throwing the extra guy out there. Yeah, you know, Dan asked that on, uh, right on the broadcast at the end. Yeah, I thought, but I'd much rather be in that spot. I thought, you know, for the most part, we managed it pretty well. They made a push. They're a good hockey team. Obviously, we knew tonight would be a different, uh, different game, and that was a little bit more playoff type, tight. Uh, both teams, you know, did a good job of killing penalties. Uh, there weren't as many tonight and I just I was uh, there were wasn't a lot of easy ice out there that both teams were physical um, you know it was great to see I was interested to see how Jake Aramco would handle a back-to-back and you know it's good for him to have to go through that because now he can get a little bit of rest and then get back after it so um, I just I, I like the way our whole team played Dryden mentioned how a lot of his shutouts he calls team shutouts and uh, tonight it seemed you know you look at a, a play like Connor Mackey made on a back check there after a block shot and um, some of the other things some of the I don't know how many block shots you guys had tonight but certainly some of that stuff went into it too um, you just talk a little bit about you know, maybe the way Connor played and, and your you know defense in general around, around driving <clears throat> when, when we play well our defensive core is the one that leads us and I thought they did some selfless things not just our decor but you know our, our, our forwards uh, you, you go back to last night's game tonight's game Nick Rivera consistently finds a way to get in the way of pucks uh, Josh French who has put on some mileage here in a real short time frame uh, and battled his way uh, to, to make another impact tonight not giving up a power play goal so uh, like you said, the the defensive core. I thought I just thought it was a team win. You know, even the goal that gets scored, it's in the paint. Uh, Walker Dewar, I thought had a really good weekend. Uh, not just tonight, but I thought he put together back to back games, which is hopefully really big for his confidence. Really active and physical too out there, not just the you know the scoring that he was involved in. Well, and I, and I thought he possessed for a guy that size that moves that well. I thought he possessed a lot of pucks. He held on to him, uh, took it to the net a couple of times, um, you know, playing with a lot of confidence. And, you know, getting that penalty that he got, that can rattle a guy at times. And I, I didn't, you know, guys went out, covered his tail for it, uh, and he went right back to work. And I just, um, I thought he had a really good weekend. Your team finally got through this 12-game stretch, Mike, uh, with a lot of travel, a lot of tough games against some formidable opponents. You're heading into a, a break. What do you hope to accomplish here the next uh, week before you have to get back at it with, uh, I guess, another home series against Alabama Huntsville in two weeks? Well, first of all, get some rest. You know, we've got some guys that uh, are on the mend, and they're close to being ready to, to get back into it, but not quite there. We've got some guys that, you know, mentioning Josh French, Nick Rivera, uh, our defensive core, they put on some miles here, uh, and not just hard miles. And I mean, out on the rink, you know, there's been some hard games, some physical games. So uh, for us to take a deep breath here, uh, hopefully have everybody get home safe tonight, you know, spend their Sunday at home and, and get back after it on Monday. But we'll, we'll take some time. Um, we'll have some individual meetings and just make sure that we get our rest and then get reset and get ready for the last two series in the WCHA.